Hello friends, this video on triangles part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay. So to solve this, since we don't have any clue, what we can do is, we know that the AB is smallest and BC is biggest, that's all that's given. Right? And we know that the triangle, the angle opposite to the smallest side is smallest and the angle opposite to the largest side is largest. Let's draw the joint this way. This is the largest, this is the smallest. Now let's give some number to this angle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? So to prove angle A is greater than angle C, that is that this is implies something what? Angle seven plus angle eight is greater than angle K plus angle. That is what we get. So we know in this triangle ABC, AB is the smallest side. Right? Since AB is the smallest side, the angle opposite to AB is angle 3, that is the smallest. Okay. So angle 3 will be less than any other angle. So less than angle 2, angle 8. Since AB is smallest, and if you compare AB and BC, AB is smaller. Right? Because in this whole quadrilateral, AB is smallest. So AB is smallest. AB is less than BC in angle ABC. So one relation we have got 3 and 8. The other relation I do get in angle 7 and 4. What is the relation in angle 7 and angle 4? So that will be in the triangle DEC. In triangle DEC. So in triangle DEC, DC is largest. Right? Because no, not DC is larger, but if you compare DC is greater than AD. So DC is greater than AD. Correct? Since DC is greater than AD, 7 is more than 7 and AD is what? Angle 4. So if you add these two, what you get is angle 3 plus angle 4 is less than angle 7 plus angle 8. Or angle 3 plus angle 4 is what? Angle C is less than and 7 plus 8 is angle 8. Or angle A is greater than angle C. First part is proof. Similarly, let's prove the second part. So here angle B is greater than angle D. So angle B is what? Angle B is angle 1 plus 2. And D is what? Angle 6 plus angle 5. So let's see 1 and 2 and 6 and 5. So if you see, is there any relationship between 1 and 6? Yes, we can have in this triangle BAD. So in triangle BAD, if you see, AD is greater than AB right? because AB is the smallest. Since AD is greater than AB, so I can say that. Angle opposite to AD is angle 1, angle 1 is greater than angle 6. Okay, this part is done. Not 2 and 5, between 2 and 5, we can have in this triangle BCD. In triangle BCD, so we have to find the relationship between what? 1 and 6 is done, 2 and 5. So 2 is uh, this angle, and 5 is this angle. So if we see the relationship between CD and BC, CD is greater than BC, right? Because CD is the greatest side in this whole quadrilateral. So with this, I can say that since CD is greater than BC, so angle two is greater than angle. If you join these two, add these two, angle one plus angle two is greater than angle six plus angle five. Angle one plus angle two is nothing but angle B. And angle six plus five is nothing but angle. And that is what this proves. Okay. So PR is greater than PQ. PR is greater than PQ. When PS bisects this angle to PR, these two angles are equal. So we have to prove that triangle angle PSR, PSR is greater than P. 
esq into the list. Let's number these. That will be one, this will be two, this will be three, four, five, six. Okay? And here angle one is equal to angle two because given. So prove to prove PSR, that is PSR. PSR is angle 3 and PSQ is angle 4. So to prove angle 3 is greater than angle 4. That is what we have to prove. Okay. Correct. So let's see what is given. It is given that PR is greater than PQ. Okay. So it is also given that PR is greater than PQ. So angle opposite to PR is angle 5. Angle 5 is greater than angle that is given. Okay, these two things are given. Okay, so let's see what is angle 3 and what is angle 4. See, angle 3 is what? Let's try from the reverse anything. Angle 3 is nothing but 180 degree minus angle 2 plus angle 6. 180 degree minus angle 2 plus 6. And angle 4, I'm just doing the reverse anything. Angle 4 is what? Angle 4 is 180 degree minus angle 1 plus angle 5. Okay. Correct. So since angle 1 is equal to angle 2, we can actually cancel this. Okay. Or we have to prove that and 180, 180 also we can cancel. Or with this, we have to prove that minus angle 6 is greater than minus angle 5. Or you flip the direction. I mean, the signs, you get angle 5 is greater than angle 6. If that is proved, we can prove this also. And angle 5 is greater than angle 6 that is given. Since this is given, this is true. So you can say that let's assume 3 is greater than 4 and this is already given. So this is true. Or if you want, this is given. So the other approach is, so now we know the approach. Angle 5 is greater than angle 6. Just add angle uh, 2 here. Angle 5 plus angle 1 is greater than angle 6 plus angle Right, because it's angle 1 is equal to angle 2, adding both sides in numbers. Okay, or you do a minus of this, so it becomes angle 6 plus angle 2 minus this is the angle 5 plus angle 1 minus, and then you add 180 degree to both sides. 180 degree minus angle 6 plus angle 2, this is greater than 180 degree minus angle 5 plus angle 1. And this is nothing but 180 degree minus 6 plus angle 2 is 180 degree minus 6 plus 2 is nothing but angle 3. And this is 180 degree minus angle 5 plus 1 is nothing but angle 4. And that is what I have to prove. Pretty easy. So if you just write angle 1, 2, 3, 4, it is pretty easy to solve these kind of questions. Else it is difficult. Show that all the line segments drawn from a given point not on it, but perpendicular to the line segment will be solved. All the line segments drawn from point. So this is a point. From this, we are drawing one perpendicular line, and we are drawing a normal line. Let's mark this point ABC. So we have to prove that AB is shorter than AC, where angle B is 90 degree. If you can take any other point. C dash. Okay. Any point. That is what we have to prove. So we have proved that AB is shortest. Now since this is 90 already given, and if you assume this is x, this is y degree, x plus y plus 90 is what? 180 degree. Or x plus y is 90 degree. Okay. That means x and y both are less than 90. x is less than 90. The maximum angle is this. Since this is the max angle, AC is max in triangle ABC. Same thing if you want to do for this triangle AC dash B. So you will see that AC dash is max. Okay. And so the shortest side will be this because this is always greater. The shortest side will be. Let's do a quick summary of whatever we have studied. 
two figures are congruent if they have same shape and same size. We have seen the laws of triangle congruence. Two circles of same radius are congruent because if you draw two circles of same radius, they will actually overlap. Each other will have same shape and same size. Two squares of same sides are congruent. We have seen this as well. If two triangles are there and they are congruent under corresponding A to P and B to Q and C to R mapping, then we express it saying that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR where A is mapped to P, B is mapped to Q and C is mapped to R. So AB will be equal to PQ, BC will be equal to QR. So this convention has to be followed. Okay, if two sides and the angle included in one triangle is equal to the corresponding sides and the angle in the other triangle, then these two triangles are congruent by SAS rule, side angle side congruence rule. If two angles and the included side of one triangle is equal to the two angles and the included side of other triangles, then also they are congruent by ASA rule, angle side angle congruence rule. If two angles and one side of one triangle are equal to two angles and the other side of the other corresponding angle, they also congruent by AAS rule. Angles opposite of the equal sides of the triangles are equal. So, the sides are equal, these angles are also equal. The opposite is also true. Side opposite of the equal angles of the triangles are equal. Each angle of an equal triangle is 60 degree. We have seen that equal little triangle, each angle is 60 degree. If three sides of a triangle are equal to the three sides of other triangle, then these two triangles are congruent by SSS rule, side, side, side. If in two right triangles, the hypotenuse and one side of the triangle are equal to hypotenuse and one side of the other triangle, then they are congruent by RHS rule. This is something we have seen. In a triangle, the opposite angle opposite the longer side is greater. So if we have a triangle, if this angle is more, this side is more. If this angle is less, this side is less. In a triangle, side opposite the angle is shorter. So this is the same. Larger the side, larger the angle. Smaller the angle, smaller the side. And sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than third side. Any triangle, you add this two sides to be greater than the third side. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot.